The country's biggest ever lottery prize is up for grabs tonight. Powerball has jackpotted to a staggering $160 million. The huge amount comes up. On October the 27th, Australia's Powerball lottery draw put out the winning numbers with a prize pool of $160 million. There are three jackpots, each of which can be split into 53 million Australian dollars. Wow! In fact, since the prize pool began to accumulate gradually in the past few weeks, countless people have been deeply attracted by a small goal and dream of being rich overnight. According to incomplete statistics, more than half of Australian adults for the lottery. So in this video, I'm going to explore how much lottery companies can make behind the Powerball craze. Okay, so the company behind Powerball is a listed company, TLC, the Lottery Corporation. The company, which only went listed in May this year, operates various lottery businesses in Australia. Its former company, Tadcorp, which is familiar to many, used to have half of the Australian lottery market. In June this year, Tab Corp officially divested its lottery business and gambling business and combined these into one new company, that is TLC, which I mentioned earlier. Just in the financial year of 2022, the company sold more than 660 million lottery tickets, paid out $4.9 billion in price, and helped to produce more than 322 new millionaires. On top of that, Powerball is the most popular of its lottery business with the highest revenue share reaching 39%. But how Powerball managed to get half of Australia involved and worked cleverly to grab huge revenue for the company? Well, this is closely related to the composition of its income and expenses. In fact, the composition of Powerball's income is very simple, that is, selling lottery tickets. The total amount of lottery subscriptions received minus the price is the net income of Powerball. In other words, the more you sell, the more you earn. So, the company has to make Powerball attractive, and in this case, the biggest selling point of Powerball is its huge prize money. Powerball is a cumulative prize pool. The minimum prize in prize pool as a draw every Thursday is 3 million. If there is no jackpot, the prize will automatically accumulate to the next week. The latest super high jackpot was in February this year after 4 accumulations. 126 million was finally opened. Therefore, with such a high price money, Powerball indeed earned an enormous amount of income. According to the company's 2022 financial report, TCL's lottery business revenue reached a record high of 3.25 billion Australian dollars, of which Powerball revenue accounted for 1.268 billion Australian dollars, far exceeding other lottery products. Okay, now let's take a look at the expenses of Powerball. Apart from prize money, Powerball's expenses mainly include government taxes, commissions and service fees, in which government taxes take the largest proportion and nearly 60% of total expenses. The total spending on TLC is 2.65 billion Australian dollars in financial year 2022. Since Powerball has 39% of TLC total revenue, and we assume that the cost of the lottery program is evenly divided according to the revenue. And at this ratio, the expenditure of Powerball in 2022 is about 1.035 billion Australian dollars. Overall, if we minus the income by cost, Powerball's revenue in a financial year can reach about 234 million Australian dollars with a profit margin of about 18.4%. But all of these are what the company shows to the public. But in order to increase profits, Powerball secretly did something that had never claimed to the public. They reduced the chance of winning the jackpot by changing the rules of the game. The last Powerball rule change was in 2018. Previously, batters who want to hit the jackpot only had to choose 6 numbers out of 40, but now they must choose 7 out of 35 numbers. Although it doesn't seem like much has changed, the difficulty of winning the jackpot has actually doubled. From a statistic point of view, the chance of winning the jackpot was 1 in 76.77 million before. But now it has changed to 1 in 134 million. So we can see that the lottery with huge jackpots is actually a combination of accurate statistics and full marketing techniques. 
The company accumulating the prize money by offering minor odds of winning a high prize, attracting people to bet, and providing a constant revenue for the company. Many people choose to buy lottery tickets, believing that there is a chance to be rich overnight. Each year, Australians spend 1.9 billion on lottery, but in fact, no matter which country in the world, the probability of wanting to reach financial independence by buying lottery tickets is about zero. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I just want to clarify that I wasn't promoting lottery or anything in this video, so be careful and think properly when you're buying a lottery ticket. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.